For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Thursday, October 17th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy is co-sponsoring a bill which would eliminate the family and employment green card backlog by increasing the number of green cards. Close to 4 million future Americans are on the State Department's immigrant visa waiting list, in addition to hundreds of thousands of immigrants in the U.S. who are also waiting for green cards. However, under current law, only 226,000 family green cards and 140,000 employment green cards are available each year. Vermont has joined a multi-state coalition challenging a Trump administration rule aimed at turning away individuals seeking asylum from Central and South America. Under the rule, many individuals seeking asylum at the southern border would be turned away unless they could prove they applied for and were denied asylum in at least one country they had traveled through prior to their arrival in the United States. U.S. Vermont Attorney General T.J. Donovan says a brief was filed to support an American Civil Liberties Union lawsuit filed in the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. New Hampshire Senate Democrats filed a comprehensive package of prescription drug reform initiatives that would make prescriptions more affordable and more accessible. Increased accountability and an end to price gouging would also be addressed. The package includes efforts to import low-cost drugs from Canada, establish the New Hampshire Prescription Drug Affordability Board, deal with rebates paid to pharmacy benefit managers, and prohibit prescription drug price gouging. A feasibility study has found that a closed Vermont college could be converted for use as an educational center. College of St. Joseph officials have been looking for a way to put the campus to use that maintains the original education mission. They are considering the possibility of converting it to the CSJ Center for Excellence and Innovation. The proposed center would provide non-degree education and workforce development, accelerated programs, office space, and more. The college is among three independent Vermont colleges that closed last spring. WTSA Sports Game 4 of the American League Championship Series canceled yesterday in New York. They'll try Game 4 again, and it will be tonight in the Bronx. Zach Greinke of the Astros taking on Masahiro Tanaka of the Yankees. First pitch is at 8.05. Thursday night football tonight has Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to Denver to take on the Denver Broncos. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on your Thursday, October 17th, my name is Ian Kelly.